Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. To this day, we still don't serve the Lord. Right. Today we walking around in our own lust. We doing what we want to do, and that's why we still getting jacked up. That's why we still got uh, who got shot? Uh, and we got 88 people get shot over the weekend. That's the last time I checked. That is a curse in the city. Bring it up. That's cursed in the city. That's not normal to be living to be living like that. Babies getting shot. 14. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So we're supposed to be serving the Lord for all things. Because a lot of times we, we, we get into uh, a money crunch. We got to get this money. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay my bills. I got to get a car. The first thing we do is think our own mind, go out and do some wickedness, do something stupid. Yeah. Try to hit a lick. Try to sell some dope. God said we're supposed to serve him for the abundance of all things. Our forefathers in this Bible, when they needed something, when they got into some trouble, the first thing they did was turn and consult with the Lord about it. That's right. First thing they did was send up prayers. We got to come back to that. You see what I'm saying? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 26. That's why in slavery, the so-called white man did not want us reading this Bible. They did not want us to get back in touch with who we are. Because knowing who we are means just, just by our name. Israel. It means a prince that has power with God. Just knowing our name, we know we are special people. We are chosen people. And we know that we got a God that we have to serve. So if we know who we are, we're going to find out how to serve our God correctly. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. Listen up. I said, I would scatter them into corners. This is another curse that God put on us for not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Read it again. I said, I would scatter them into corners. Uh -oh, the, the four corners of the earth. Anywhere you go, our people out there, they ain't going to show you on the news. But we there. Read. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. The remembrance of us. That's why we got to come out here and teach our people we're the Israelites all over again. You're not black. You're not African American. You're not Native American. You're not Hispanic. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. The remembrance has ceased from before men. We're no longer known as the Israelites. The people who do know we're the Israelites, they're keeping it on the hush hush. They don't want us to find, they don't want that to get out. Read. That's it on that. That's it? So that was another curse. Our, the, the, our nationality was literally taken from us. All right? So that's why we bring it out who we are. So now we know what we must do. He read Deuteronomy 10 and verse uh, 12. That showed us that as the Israelites, God requires us to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. So once we get in this, get in this Bible and find out what we're not doing, Meaning what sin we in, that's how we correct ourselves. So we need these laws. We need these laws so we know how to correct ourselves. Speaking of laws, give me uh, Romans 6 and 23. Romans 6 and 23, because we are still being punished for not keeping God's laws as, as we speak. That's why our people are dying. That's why our people are cursed in the city. We're not keeping God's laws. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Listen up. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of what? Sin is death. Sin, which is breaking God's law, the payment for that is death. Alright? The payment for breaking God's laws is death. But read on. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So how do we get that gift of God? By keeping God's laws in the faith of Jesus Christ. Because Christ came and died for us. He came so that we are able to repent. Uh, Acts 5 and uh, verse 31. That's how we are able to repent nowadays. Because under the old law, when we were sacrificing animals, we messed up. We messed up. We didn't keep that covenant that we had with God. That's why Christ came down. So he could bridge, he could bridge the gap between the Israelites and God again. Because remember, God is a man of war. Uh, if you know this Bible, he told uh, Moses... When when they, when we was getting when we was at being wicked out in the wilderness, he said, "Damn them niggas! I will I, I I'm gonna start over with you." God don't play them games. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter five, verse thirty. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and 
a savior. A prince and a what? And a savior. And a savior for the nation of Israel. Read. For to give repentance to Israel. That's how we are able to repent. Even though look, look, we was in the midst of sin, now we are able to start the repenting process. We come back to keeping God's law. We ain't perfect yet. But eventually, with the application of laws, the laws will make you perfect. Psalms 19 and uh, 7. The laws will make you perfect. Because I know you hear uh, in Christianity, oh, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But then at the same time, there's a worldly saying that says, practice makes you perfect. Bring it up. So this is what we got to practice. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. What is convert mean? Anybody know what it means to convert? Uh, transmute it, change it over. To change it over. So the law of the Lord is perfect, and it will change over your soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. What's written in this Bible, the testimony of Moses and the prophets and Christ and the apostles, that's sure. Ain't none of the, the, the scriptures say none of these shall fail. None of the prophecies that's written in this book are going to fail. All the prophecies, that, all, all the things that uh, was written about Christ was fulfilled, and all the other things that's about to come to pass will be fulfilled. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Read. Making wise the simple. So once you start keeping God's laws, that's how you start to get wise. You could be a, a, a simple dude, dumb as a box of rocks, but then you start keeping God's laws. Now you're going to be, uh, people are going to look and see wisdom in you. Why? Because the spirit of Christ is on you now. The spirit of God is on you now. That's how we get that spirit on it. The book of Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Listen up. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. This is the sinful kingdom. Because this is the place where uh, two men could get married legally. Two women could get married legally. You can marry a dog. You can marry a tree. I, I've seen videos of wickedness here. Read. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. You see what's going on in this kingdom right here. Read. And I will destroy it. From so, so look, see, we used to be locked up for selling weed. Now you can go. Now you can go to a weed store. You can buy weed over the counter. At first, it was, it, it, it was they, we, we used to sell drugs to our people. To get, to get our people high, it was a bad thing. Now why they want to keep us high? Now they legalize it. Now they selling it to us in the store. Right. Bring it out. Something's up. Why they want to keep us high? Why is the liquor store on every corner? Why Bring they want out. to keep us drunk? Right. What, what is it that they don't want us to focus on? Bring it out. Read it. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon this sinful kingdom. That's America. That's the United States of America. The sins of this place could be uh, is reaching the high heavens right now. Read. And I will destroy it from upon the face of the earth. He said he's going to wipe this place off the face of the earth. That's right. Read. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. He will not what? I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. What's the house of Jacob? Black, Hispanic, and Native American. He will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. But a lot of the house of Jacob is going to be destroyed. Because a lot of the house of Jacob ain't going to repent. Everybody who hear this ain't going to come back to God's law statutes. That's right. Bring it out. That's that remnant. Only the remnant who come back to the law statutes and commandments Ooh. is going to be saved from the destruction that's going That's right. Read. And you got to wonder, how come they don't read this in the churches? How come these churches ain't warning us that destruction is coming? Ooh. That's right. I could go to a handful of scriptures to show you that destruction is coming to this place. Ooh. That's right. What the hell are these preachers in the church is doing? Bring it out. Take a read. I For a low. I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So he's going to sift the house of Israel from all nations. That's us scattered in all these other nations that we in. To scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.